here's, uh, no, I just scrolled up a little bit, right? Here's one. My my friend Blue had took, wait, let me wait for everybody to get back here. Okay, so I literally just, this is how much I scrolled up, okay? From our last text, right? This was Friday at four o'clock. My friend Blue had took um, Chanel to the vet for me because I had just been dealing with a lot with the puppies and I just, I, I, I wanted to go, but it was 30 minutes away and I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't, I'm sorry. I know it was probably wrong of me not to take her, but I had someone who I trust and I, he, he was willing to take her, so it was cool. And he had his puppy here. I was watching her while he took Chanel to the vet and my mom had called me and she had seen the puppy in the back and she's like, whose dog is that? And I'm like, oh, it's, it's my friend's dog, the one who took Chanel to the vet. Oh, well, the, um, why, why? I just don't understand. I'm like, you don't understand why my friend's dog is here? It's fine with that. It's not like there don't be dogs because I already have dogs. No, it's just you, you, you let everyone walk all over you, little girl. Like, I'm just, I'm just so sick of it. He has my dog. I have his dog. I don't see no problem at all. Oh, who, who is this kid? Who is this kid? Oh, it's just one of my friends. Like, it's just someone that we all know that's cool with us and he's older and we trust him. So, he's cool to have around. Like, anyways. So, I say to her, like, why are you tripping? Like, she starts saying, you just let anybody in your house. You don't even know these people. I'm like, bro, I've known him. Like, I, I know him. I've known him for a while. Like, what are you talking about? Like, how do you become friends with people? You have to be friends with everyone that you've known your whole life? Like, that's how you become friends with people. He hasn't done anything to make me think, I mean, to make me not trust him. Nothing at all. So why would I just, like, what? Like, why is she so on the Like, no one's even done shit to her to make her feel like, like, what? So anyways, she starts talking shit, right? Now, meanwhile, I want you to know, this is something my mom says all the time. You pay for everything. No one ever pays for shit for you. And it's like... People definitely pay for shit for me. But sometimes I do buy my friends gifts because I got it like that and they don't. And if I see that they like something, I and not that they're broke, but like they don't have as much money as me. So I do stuff for my friends. Some things are more important that I need to get paid for with their money. So I use my money to make them feel good. It's that, that's just what friends do for each other. Like what? And she has a problem with that. Even though she gets more than they get, right? Not the point. But anyways. She texts me and says, did you bring Chanel? I said, I already told you Blue brought her. I didn't say that, I said, I said Blue, Blue brought her because um, Gabby had to leave early so I stayed with the pups. But they're on the way back now. Nah, you're just the poster child for the dumb white girl. What the hell? What is it gonna take, take you to lose everything? Laughing my fucking ass off. He helps out, Blue is older, it's not even like that. I tr and if y'all don't believe me, I truly thought Azizi was the worst. I was wrong. No less than you are, even more of a liar. I guess it's the quality of people you're surrounding yourself with. Ghetto is as ghetto does. Yeah, that's even worse. I said, you're talking all that shit, but Blue paid the 150 for Chanel's blood work. Why, you broke or something? Where's all your money? In Candy's pocket? Talking about KJ. Better yet, where are your cars? I'm sure Candy put the claim in for the challenger now. I said, what? You need help. If you don't believe me. Now. Random. This is a random one, okay? I had texted her. We were texting at 2 o'clock about the dog's um, vet appointments. She texted me this at 2.52, unprovoked. Didn't even say anything to her. You really are starting to talk like the trash you're hanging out with. Let me know how Chanel makes out. You better get your shit together while you're helping. While, while, you're, while you're helping others build their wealth because yours is declining. Don't say no. It's not because you ain't working at all. Huh? My wealth is declining? You don't even see why you're off of all the stuff. You're not even on none of nothing to see what I make. So what are you talking about? She makes shit up. Here's another one out of the blue, right? She's sending me houses. Here's another one out of the blue. She says, what do you think? At, at 240, this is the final poem. Oh my God. 246, what do you think about this 
this rental. 252. I'm done being treated like shit. I do everything for you and this is how you treat me. Yet you praise those crackheads who are using you and good luck with your life. Don't call me anymore. What? What? Out of nowhere. She calls KJ and Clint crackheads because they smoke weed and sip lean from time to time. Sam, now this is not even being disrespectful, but she loves Yachty and Yachty does the same shit that they do. Smokes weed and sips lean from time to time. But he's not called a crackhead, but they are. So was another guy that I used to talk to did the same shit and she was fine with it. She loved him. But it's because they would be like, oh, we're cool your mom, don't, don't talk to you like that, don't do this, don't do this your mom, don't do this. So when people are on her side, because they obviously never lived in my house, they never, they weren't around enough to see what goes on. You get what I'm saying? So. Here. She texts me. Oh, she texts Malik saying, I'll, I'll be there Monday. Everybody better be out. I'm calling the shots now. KJ isn't calling the shots no more. Did it? Like, KJ's never called the shots in my house. Never. Like, no. Like, I run my house. Like, people listen to me. You know, KJ don't even be saying shit. Like, I said, if you come to my house, I will get a restraining order against you. I don't want you at my house. You, you don't need to be here. Me, you do not get along. I don't need you coming into my space, my escape, my safe spot, and making me feel like I don't want to be here. She said, okay. I said, Malik didn't even do shit. Stop trying to gain control of me. No one's trying to gain control of you. I'm trying to protect you. It's two different things. I said, I'm grown. You don't need to protect me. I'm fine. Leave me and my friends alone. I knew KJ and Malik before Clint. You're being weird. I said, protecting and controlling are the same thing to you because you try to control me and say it's protecting. If no one has ever gave you real, not made up reasons, real reasons to make you feel like, like they're doing that, you should, you, there's nothing to protect me from. She's literally putting all her business on social media. No, sorry, what my mother did was put me on a TV show years ago to make herself look like a good person and, and make me look bad. So what I'm doing is letting y'all know the truth because like I said, yes, I am known. Yes, people do want to know about me. So instead of a lies getting thrown around, I'm going to just tell the truth. She said, Malika Ken, you're not your friends. Just because they know you means nothing. They're eating your food, driving your cars at your house. I said, what? You do you hear yourself? Eating that what food? Everyone orders out on their own phones. She don't say nothing. Let's see. But you know what? Like I said, I'm the one who for years has to sit down and take the bullshit for it. And, um, okay, well, it's just mom, okay, all right. It's just my mom. I can't do anything about it. I just, and then when I would try to do lives and explain to people what's really going on, people would take my phone and all that. So, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not dealing with it anymore. This was on Saturday. I really wonder how happy you are with your life choices. Can you honestly say you respect yourself? Do you think these people are really your friends or that he really cares about you? It's only because you're rich. If you lost all your money, they'd be gone tomorrow. The day you stop giving them, you will see who they truly are. I don't like what like no one asked me for shit. KJ has probably only got like two pairs of shoes for me. And I took my dinner for his birthday. Fucking like what? Clint makes money. Like, I don't know where this lady gets this shit from. Like, yes, it's my boyfriend. I bought him the same way he bought me stuff. We're in a relationship. 
Like what? And this is another thing. Oh my God, this is another thing. Like I said, Clinton has been with me since July 1st. I turned 18 on, on March 26th. This year. He was with me last year, July 1st. Yeah, go ahead and make your pedophile jokes, whatever, I don't care. Um, but, also, KJ has been my friend for the last three, four years. I wasn't allowed to touch my money when I was younger. I wasn't. Me and Clint, since I've been able to touch my money, me and Clint have only been together for, let me see how many months. So he was with me from July 1st to, to March 26th before I could touch any money. Why didn't he leave me if it's only about the money? Why didn't he leave me if it was only about the money? KJ has been my friend for years. He's been hanging out with me all the time. And, oh, now he's only with me about, about money? Danielle, stop allowing this. 
Stop allowing her to treat you like this. Barbara, what you do to your daughter is wrong. My mom thinks that she could talk shit about grown-ass men and grown-ass women and think that no one's going to say nothing. You know what she said? I said, because um, we, 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 we were just getting ready to leave and she, like, I, don't, I don't even know what it was. It was someone we was getting ready to leave and she just had an attitude about it. And she was like, just like, oh, why, why I can't come or something like that. We were just like, we just want to have a good time. We like, we just want to have a good time. We don't want to, we don't want to have arguments about little things that don't even need to be arguments. We just want to go out and have fun. Oh, well, you let people come in between us and you this and you that. Oh, Clinton, you took me out of my daughter's life. Like, just shit like that all the time. Like, and I, like I said, I try to be cool with her. She does random text messages about you're going to learn, little girl. You're going to learn, little girl. And yes, I, the reason I got to say this is because of my mother. The reason I, 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 I listen to my mom. I do. But I know I'm not going to listen to her when she tells me that my, I can't have friends and that all my friends are using me. What? Oh, they're stealing from me. How are they stealing? But it's not even that I have a safe because of my friends, but it's just like, yeah, we do have some engineers or producers or whatever comes to the house. And no, I, I should have this, even though no one ever comes upstairs. But I should, yes, that's right. Because shit can happen. My house can just get robbed by anybody, someone I don't even know. Whatever. I really, this is all I want to say. I mean, it's all I want to say, y'all, before I get off of this. I want to have a good relationship with my mother. I have tried to have a good relationship with my mother. I have given my mother up teen chances to be cool with me, to live in my house, to be around me every day. But every time I give her that chance, she shows me that my feelings don't mean shit to her and that all she's worried about is control and making me feel bad about myself. Don't want to hear, oh, it's your mom, you should let her do whatever she wants. Because I did. I do. I let my mother do whatever she wants. I block her for a little bit and then unblock her and try to be cool with her again. In the next five minutes, she's back on bullshit. You know what? You're right. My mother should have swallowed me. You're exactly 100% right. And I tell her that all the time because I say, Barbara, if you didn't want me, that's not my fault. It's not my fault at all. I did she definitely just trip out of this chair. But I always tell her, it's not my fault at all. You should have just not had me then. That's it. But it's not fair that I should be treated like this because she didn't want me. But anyways, like I said, final thing I want to say, I tried to have a good relationship with her. I've tried numerous times. I just want to make this as clear as I can so no one says, oh, you should try this. No, we've tried therapy. She doesn't care. Um, she tells the therapist they shouldn't have a license. Um, we've tried everything. We've tried to have sit-down talks. I've told my mother, I begged her in my driveway, I begged her to um, take accountability for the stuff that she does to me and to apologize and try to be better. And she, and when I told her, Mom, you can either live here and and be with, be around me and do all that or and, and stop treating me like this. If you treat me how I treat you and be nice to me, you can live here. And if you want to keep treating me badly, you, you have to go back to Florida. And she said, well, you know what? If you don't let me, uh, you don't let me do what I want, you don't have a mother anymore. I'll be going back to Florida. And then she, but, but, but her story is, oh, uh, the reason I'm not there is because of Clinton and KJ. You know what's funny? She says the reason that she doesn't like KJ is because Imani, because her and Imani had got into it, because my mother was injecting herself into grown people's business on why two adults in a relationship were arguing. And Imani said, just like, leave us alone. Like, just let us, like, let, let us get through this. Like, it's okay. Like, just chill. And she started cussing Imani out, and Imani was drinking, and so it escalated. But, yeah, she says that she doesn't like KJ because Imani, even though we all know it's because KJ got a house somewhere where I could go. And she says that the reason she doesn't like, also she doesn't like Clinton, I mean KJ is because of Clinton. Because I had said, well, mom, KJ and Imani aren't together anymore, so why don't you like KJ if it's about Imani? Oh, I don't like him because of Clinton. What? Like, how does that even... 
all I want you to know is my friends don't use me. My friends love me. My friends adore me. We're around each other all the time. Even when I do have my little depressed days and stuff, they beg me to get out of the bed and go do stuff. They definitely help me a lot with, you know, my animals and keeping my house together and all that. And they're very good to me. They motivate me. And like I said, I try to relationship with my mother. I want to so badly, but I can't force anyone to do something they don't want to do. So I had to make the decision to just, like I said, make her move back to Florida and stuff. So now that y'all know what's going on, that's it. If y'all want to talk about it, talk about it amongst y'all selves. But I'm not feeding into the... She beats up her mom and she's disrespectful. Da, da, da. I'm not. I'm not doing it. So, y'all have fun with that. Pray for our good sister Danielle Bregoli, aka Bad Baby Miss. Catch me outside. How about that? I think that she is so awesome. Th this is Alyssa. She is a well-behaved well-mannered young lady i think that she's misunderstood i think that going on that dr phil show really 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 made people look at her in a different light than what they should have i'm not saying that when she was a little bit younger that she wasn't a little bit rough around the edges or whatever i understand that you know she's done some wild stuff i mean she she's as soon as she turned 18 she went and hopped up on only fans <laughs> so you already know she's a wild one shout out to Danielle. so so over the top for doing that i mean I, if I, for what i understand she already had money so you know, but hey, but I heard that she made a ton, you know, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think like within the first week, you know, dudes is like shit just rubbing their hands together. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Like, come on, bro. Really? But whatever. She's getting her money. That's a matter. Shout out to Danielle. Go ahead and count that cash, you know, cash yourself outside. How about that? You know, we don't really hear too much from her when it comes to the rap thing. Because she's too busy. <laughs> she's too busy taking her shirt off. But here's the thing, right? She said that her mother, in so many words, it, at least this is what it seems like. She's, it, it, no, I shouldn't use the word using. It seems as if what Danielle's implying is that her mother is more worried about money than she's worried about her. However, her mother's also allegedly warning her that people around her are using her for money. Here's the thing. What if they're both right? What if what if her mother is to some degree using her or taking advantage of the fact that her Danielle or daughter Danielle is wealthy? However, also, there's other people around her because, you know, what you know, it's like they say, it takes one to know one. So what if her mother is wondering because she's like, shit, <laughs> they're like me, but they're going to end up taking the money from her before I can do it she's not going to have anything left now how am i supposed to rob you if the, uh, allegedly allegedly I, and i'm just joking guys i'm just trying to be funny here i'm trying to be entertaining you know and i'm just having fun with this concept with this topic but what if danielle's mother is not only using her but is warning her about people just like her allegedly now that would be something now wouldn't it that would be not hilarious but it, it would be very telling but this is you know, not this is not even my opinion. I'm just asking questions. You know what I mean? But what do you guys think? Do you think that her mother may be allegedly possibly maybe using her and to some degree? Or do you think that maybe she's exaggerating or maybe she's just plain wrong? Either way, please let me know what you think about it below because I need all of your opinions below because it helps with the algorithm. If you don't know what to say, just say hi. That will suffice. And to let me know you listen all the way to the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section is love each other. And it seems like as if Danielle is trying to love her mom, but it seems like her mom is kind of caring ish and she's a difficult person to love. At least from what Danny's saying, allegedly. And if you saw the Dr. Phil episode, which I didn't, I only saw little clips. I don't know. Like the fact that her mother brought her on the show at all seems as if the mother is like some sort of like attention whore or something like that. You know what I mean? Like one of those people who. Uh, will do more for fame and fortune than maybe they should and you know so i mean the fact that she brought her 13 year old daughter on dr phil of of of, of all things to do you know it, it lets me know that her mother probably doesn't always make the best decisions okay but this is just my opinion let me know what you think about it below thumbs up comment subscribe choose all notifications so if you don't know what to say just say hi